With the everyday volatility of the cryptocurrency exchange in mind, along with the various announcements that Elon Musk has made in respect of altcoins, it goes without saying that digital currencies have become their own category of news over the past few years. In fact, people from all over appear to be interested in what is going on in the crypto sphere of life, either because they have a vested interest or can't wait for those who do to eventually fall. But what is the training cryptocurrency news and gossip that fans and critics need to be aware of right now? And what does this tell us about the future of digital currencies? Well, whether you're thinking of investing or just want to know more about the crazy world of cryptocurrencies, you've come to the right place as we're about to explore some of the newest headlines that involve the altcoins everyone loves to hate. So strap yourselves in and get ready for an informative ride as things are about to get interesting. But before we get into it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss out on any of the new videos we post. Number 1. Unidentified Cryptocurrency Billionaire Makes Massive Purchase First up in the world of crypto is a story that's been shaking those who have yet to invest in altcoins to their very core. According to reports, an unidentified cryptocurrency billionaire has gone on to purchase a mansion in California worth approximately $83 million, with the majority of the cost being due to the many security features that have been built into the home. Experts in California real estate have indicated that this purchase of the Pacific Palisades mansion is the second most expensive residential sale in California this year alone. And according to Dirt, which is a real estate website dedicated to the description of high-profile properties, this Californian mansion will be providing its new owner with around 20,000 square feet of space, which includes six bedrooms, 18 bathrooms, and a retractable roof for those clear summer nights. The property also comes packed with a chef's kitchen that has been designed by Nobu, a theater, an infinity pool, and a home spa. The home has also reportedly been purchased in an off-market deal, with many believing that the purchase itself was actually concluded using some of the various cryptocurrencies that the unknown owner has been holding over the years. And if true, this would be the largest purchase ever made in the history of altcoins. But as we mentioned earlier, this is pure conjecture. It goes without saying that the billionaire doesn't want anyone to know who he or she is and has gone to great lengths to ensure that safety remains the crux of the purchase. In fact, it must be said that the mansion was actually built by developer Artie Tavangarian, with the utmost safety of the owner at its very core. Not only does the property house two fully sealable and spacious panic rooms, it also includes a master bedroom that can only be accessed with the use of a retinal scanner. Suffice to say, the new owner of the property is going to be able to protect himself or herself with a mere press of a button in the future. That's about all we know at the moment though, and it's most likely all we're going to hear about for the foreseeable future. These new crypto billionaires are a strange bunch after all, and it might surprise you to hear that other properties on the Californian market marketplace are similar in price, albeit a little less focused on Bond villain level security, so it looks like some deeper digging is going to be next to impossible. Either way, this could very well be the biggest purchase ever made with crypto, making it a story you most certainly need to know. Number 2. Elon Musk Causes the Price of Ethereum to Skyrocket For those of you who haven't been paying attention the last couple of years, billionaire Elon Musk has been a massive proponent of the cryptocurrency exchange. It was he who made the decision for Tesla to start selling its vehicles in exchange for Bitcoin, but then announcing that this would no longer be the case because of the terrible effects that Bitcoin mining has on the environment. It was also he who would cause the price of Dogecoin to rise and fall based on a few joking tweets, causing the community to call him what they considered to be insider trading. And it looks like the South African is back in the news, but this time for causing the price of Ethereum to shoot up after disclosing that he has personally invested in the altcoin. This announcement was made when the technology billionaire was speaking at the B-Word conference a few weeks ago alongside Jack Dorsey, who has also been a prominent proponent of the cryptocurrency exchange. After mentioning that he has fallen out of favor of Bitcoin, which as we mentioned earlier is no longer accepted as payment in respect of Tesla's, Elon went on to mention that he has become a huge fan of Ethereum over the past few months. 
This caused the next week to be one of the greatest in the history of the altcoin, seeing it rise above the 2000 US dollar mark. Still nothing in comparison to Bitcoin, of course, but this has allowed Ethereum to hold on to the position of second most valuable cryptocurrency currently on the exchange. The announcement that Tesla will no longer be accepting Bitcoin has also had a large effect on altcoin though, which dropped in value as a result of this announcement. According to reports though, Bitcoin has been working hard to rely more on renewable energy sources, which is to a certain extent the resultant of the recent crackdown on Chinese Bitcoin mining operations. On the topic, Elon went on to say the following, Bitcoin does some things well, and it's evolving. Usability for the average person is not great, but it has a lot of potential. On balance, I support Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in general. And it makes sense that Elon would feel this way. Tesla has announced a $1.5 billion investment into Bitcoin, after all, making it the world's second largest corporate investor behind the software firm MicroStrategy. What this means for the future of Ethereum and Bitcoin, though, we can hardly say, as both altcoins are still incredibly volatile, and who knows what dear old Elon will say next. Number 3. Malaysian Police Have Steamrolled Over 1,000 Bitcoin Mines In Recent Days Speaking of the crackdown on unlawful Bitcoin mining in China, Malaysian authorities have also found themselves in the news for doing much of the same in their own country. According to reports, the Malaysian police force is responsible for seizing more than 1,000 Bitcoin mining rigs in the country, which has been responsible for stealing electricity from an already lacking environment. But the authorities decided that storing this equipment would just lead to theft and the continuation of the practice. So rather than keeping them at the police station, the authorities decided to have someone hop in an industrialized steamroller and literally steamroll over the equipment to ensure they could never be used again. It must also be said that six people have been charged in relation to the crypto mines following the joint investigation, but nothing has been made official just yet, with the pandemic slowing down the justice system. According to official reports, though, these criminals have been charged under Section 379 of the Penal Code for electricity theft. And for those of you who aren't familiar with the code, the charge can result in both the payment of a fine and jail time. Sources involved in the investigation have actually said that the persons in question have already been fined 8,000 Malaysian ringgit, which is approximately 1,893 US dollars, and will most likely also be jailed for up to eight months. The Malaysian authorities made the following statement in connection with the arrest. The electricity theft for mining Bitcoin activities has caused frequent power outages, and in 2021, three houses were raised due to illegal electricity supply connections. Unfortunately, it's not just China and Malaysia that have been suffering from the effects of illicit Bitcoin mining operations. They've popped up all across the globe from the United Kingdom to Russia and typically involve criminals stealing electricity with the intention of powering rigs that have been connected to mine crypto. It's for this very reason that Tesla has distanced itself from Bitcoin over the last few months, knowing full well just how much damage this is causing to the world in general. Number 4. The Creator of Dogecoin Speaks Out Against Cryptocurrencies and last but not least, we have Jackson Palmer in the news, who most of you will know as one of the co-creators of the hyper-successful meme coin Dogecoin. Speaking on the future of cryptocurrency, Palmer went on to say some things that rubbed the crypto community the wrong way. Remember, this is the guy who parodied Bitcoin by creating his own altcoin so that he could show how ridiculous the concept was. Funny enough, this caused the crypto to become incredibly popular resulting in it becoming one of the most sought after digital currencies on the market. So you can understand the surprise that his crypto fans showed when he said the following about altcoins in general. After years of studying it, I believe that cryptocurrency is an inherently right-wing, hyper-capitalist technology built primarily to amplify the wealth of its proponents through a combination of tax avoidance, diminished regulatory oversight, and artificially enforced scarcity. The cult of cryptocurrency has become akin to a get-rich-quick funnel and is almost purpose-built to make the funnel of profiteering more efficient for those at the top and less safeguarded for the vulnerable. In other words, the followers of cryptocurrency find themselves surrounded by cult thinking, following the advice of the powers that be in an attempt to make themselves richer. But this advice is actually leading to the proponent getting rich instead, who will go on to sell that crypto when the time comes, leaving his followers in a vulnerable position. And it goes without saying that this is precisely what we've been seeing with the various shit coins that are being advertised by influencers right now. At least Palmer sees right through them too, but what do you think about this all? Be sure to let us know in the comments section down below.